I hope you're enjoying the Geelong Regional Footy Show. Alex Tagani recently caught up with the Whitley medalist Jack Kennedy Hunt and his coach Mark McDowell, both from Inverlee. Another year and another Whitley medalist. This one's from Inverlee, Jack Kennedy Hunt. You've got the medal round your neck. What does it feel like to uh, be a medalist? Oh, it's a great achievement, mate. I, um, you know, a uh, little bit shocked to be honest, um, but yeah, it's a great achievement. Leading goal kicker, team of the year member, medalist. Then there's another question mark, premiership player. How are you looking going into the final series? And do you have a message for all the Inverley supporters you want to see at St Albans Reserve? Uh, mate, I think we've got a very blessed team this year. Um, Coaching-wise, Mark's uh, A-grade coach and, um, you know, we've got an A-grade list as well. So I think the boys have matured a little bit um, and working very hard on and off the track. Um, so we're just preparing for finals as best as we can. You talk, of course, of Mark McDowell, who for the third time in four years is the coach of the year. Mark, I'll, I'll be blatantly honest, do you feel more pressure now going into another another finals campaign? Yeah, I do, actually. I, you know, I feel the, um, the expectation of um, the Inverlee club and the people and, and obviously the players that have been through the journey, um, yeah, we, we want to win it. So mm -hmm. we feel the pressure and feel a bit of stress, but um, um, we just got to put our best foot forward. And um, Conor McGregor says, you're the winner, you learn. We haven't won in the past, but hopefully we've learned from the last three finals um, series and we can um, and go that step forward this year. Uh, just after the medal, asked Jack on the stage how he got to the club. Y your involvement in getting him over the line, um, getting him in the brown and gold for season 2017. Yeah, look, my very best mate Billy Nichols was was the main influencer in getting Jack over to Inverlee without any doubt. Um, and um, Billy just said to me, he said, I've got a really good player for you. And so he, he, he can, he's doing a bit of coaching from where he is, you know, he's influencing the side and influencing the recruitment. So um, he couldn't have come up with a better player than Jack, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, we, we send a cheerio to Billy who does listen to as many games as possible. And finally, Jack, I ask this with every, every Whitley medalist. So I think we can lock you in for the GDFL in tw season 2018. Yeah, mate, I, um, I reckon if a premiership comes our way, I'll be there next year for sure. All right, you've heard it first here on Channel 31. It was lights out at Galvin Park as the Werribee Centrals got the four points in what was a game to split the league in half in controversy after getting the win against Anarchy whilst leading in the third term. Falpo's Till had another good win as they beat the Devils 120-42. to Thompson, North, Inverley and West also rounded off the other winners for the round 12. The Devils rejoiced as they got their first win of the year. Ashley Brown kicked seven goals for East Geelong, but it wasn't enough to get them up as Karai won by a point. Dylan Shelley, Todd Smith, Jake Manning and Dean Rye were all multiple goal kickers for Karai. Fileposts were the big winners this round over Geelong West with a 100 point victory. It was no ties for Bannockburn in a 4 first first affair as they beat North Geelong by 73 points. And at Thompson Recreation Reserve, Dot McGonnell gets five and is named best on ground in Inverley's 24 point win over Thompson. In our split round, we had first play third in Inverlee hosting the Bannockburn Tigers. It was Inverlee who got the chocolate so thanks to Jack Kennedy Hunt who kicked five. Jason Tom also kicked five goals for Bannockburn. The next week, we did see one Tiger get up this round as Thompson beat Belmont for 24 points. Jared Matheson continued a good run of form by bagging five after kicking seven the week prior. Winchester and John West also had convincing wins over Cryer and Anarchy. It was a scoreless first quarter for the Winchester Blues as Bubba still beat them by 104 points. Spearhead Nick Costello had six and Jaden Etridge had four as the pair kept a good run of form. Whilst Tave Sawney and Jaden Carter were the only goal kickers for the Blues. Kennedy Hunt would bag six to get himself 100 goals for the season as Inverley beat Geelong West. Jamie Phyllis and Todd Hearn both kicked three apieces and Nicky beat the Eagles. Kieran Fulton had five when Bannockburn faced Belmont on the Sunday and where we really took it to North Geelong as they fell short by only two points. We saw a draw in round 16 as Werribee and Eve Geelong both had to split the points. Tyson Berg and Tave Sawney had a day out combining for seven goals whereas Bobby Griffiths kicked five for the Eagles and was named in the best players. Another talking point of the round was when Balbo still came to Victoria Park and knocked off Bannockburn. Luke Turner kicks a bag of three and youngster Tane Rabbers is named best on ground for the side who was leading all day. Inverley, Thompson, Geelong West and North Geelong all added wins to their tallies as well. 
a Sunday clash between Balpos Till and rival North Geelong so the Panthers have another win with an 118 point victory. Justin Page put five on the board. Mitch Gavin, Jaden Extra and Liam Mayrich all were multiple goal kickers for Balpos Till. We saw a very strong game from Anarchy this week who got their last win of the season against rivals Corio. Young gun Lachlan Cameron played what arguably would be his best game of footy at senior level to date. Todd Hernboo to five in his strong finish to the year. And the other multiple goal kickers for the Roos were Connor Wormsley, Kyle Ebel, Jordan Kavanagh, and surprisingly, Anarchy's full back, Mitchell White. The last round of the season saw victories to Balpost Hill, Wintersey, Inverley, Thompson, John West, and Bannockburn, who put the Centrals away by 145 points thanks to Jason Tom, Connor Jervis, and Jack Broman all kicking four. The Blues were to beat the Lions by 88 points at home. Inverley made easy work of cry with a 143 point victory and in the last quarter where Anarchy put on more than double their total score to saw them fight off Balpo's Hill's late surge to keep the margin under 100 points. Thompson beat North Geelong by 16 and with the same sides to face off the following week in the first round of finals. Well, I hope you enjoyed the action from the first round of finals in the Geelong District Football Netball League and now there's more on the other side of this break.